Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial on Python for everyone. In our last video, we covered uh, different data types in Python, uh, which are strings, integers, floats, and boolean. In this video, we will cover some exciting beginner-friendly Python topics. Uh, how to find out the data type of a particular variable, how to typecast, which is uh, to convert variables from one data type to another, and solving fun coding challenges, including working with strings. Uh, it'll be like, you know, a, a couple of examples on how to manipulate strings or what to do with them. In details, uh, we will go into that in our next video. All right, let's start. All right, first of all, uh, how to find out uh, a data type. Let's say that we have a variable which is a is equal to uh, 10. All right, b is equal to, um, let's say, 25.3. Oh, come on, 25.3. And c is equal to, let's say, 10 again. Now, how, as a user or a third party who's reading your code or whatnot, uh, they see numbers or um, like you have uh, created an algorithm, you have created a code you're working on, you are familiar with the data types that you are working on, uh, but sometimes, uh, sometimes when you're working for other companies, your code goes to another person and for them it will be difficult to understand, like, oh, I see t uh, number 10 over there, but... Uh, in the data, but what is it? Is it string or is it um, uh, an integer? So at that point in time, how will that person find out or how would you find out if you're working on a data set created by somebody else? Uh, what you would do is um, usually the function, like uh, what we previously learned, print function and input function. This is another one, which is type, type function. This is its syntax. So you print, uh, you type uh, the function type with brackets, and inside the brackets, uh, you write the name of uh, the variable uh, of which you are trying to find out the data type. I don't know how else to explain it. So what we are going to do is we're going to print uh, the you know the type to find out what is A, what kind of uh, data type is A, all right? And then we are going to print the type of B, C. All right now we're looking at it, we know it's integer, float, and then string because the C being string because it's in quotes. But let's do it anyway. See, let's execute it. Uh, the first one is int, a, b is float, and c is string, like it says over there. Every variable has a type, and we can easily find it using this particular function, type function. This is useful when you're working with unknown inputs or debugging code. Uh, Python makes it super easy to figure out uh, what kind of uh, data uh, that you're dealing with. All right, the next thing that we want to cover is how to type uh, typecast in Python. Typecast uh, is nothing but, you know, a fancy word for uh, converting. It means converting a variable from one type to another. For example, if you have a string, um, a variable um, which has numbers like, you know, we have over here in C, right? How would we want to convert, uh, you know, what if we wanted to convert it into integers, you know, so uh, Python doesn't consider it uh, as a string, as a text, but as numbers, all right? Uh, there are three functions that you can use doing that. If you want to convert a particular, uh, another data type into integers, you will use this. If you want to convert, um, you know, another data type into a float, it is this. 
and if you want to consider whatever you have whatever that you're working with into a string it is this it's int for integers uh, to typecast something into integers uh, if you want to typecast something into float it's float brackets and if you want to typecast something into strings it is str brackets now let's get started uh, with some examples over here for example i have a variable which is uh, a string one two three all right um, what i want to do is i want to print the type all right of a okay and now i want to typecast a string variable into an integer so what I will do is I'll assign another variable, all right? I'll use the int function over here to convert it, to typecast it. And what do I want to convert? I'll type a over there. a is a variable I want to convert from string to integer. And then I will print the type of b, the variable, the converted version of a, okay? Let's execute this. See, the first prompt that we're getting, the output is of print type A. The type of A is string, and then when we converted it, the type cast, uh, the type of data type that we're working on became integer, right over here. Let's take another example. For example, we have a variable named as phi, and we have uh, it as an integer. You know, I'm not putting it in quotes, so. Uh, obviously, it's an integer over there. If, uh, I put put in numbers, and let's say, let's do do it again. Let's you know have it uh, type, have it produce the output of the type of data that we're working on of C, and then we do, then we convert it into let's say a float. Okay. There we go, and then we print it again. D. Let's execute. See? C as a variable was integer by default, and then we uh, typecasted it into float. We converted it into a float data type. So D over here, its data type is float. I hope you are following me till now. And let's say I have another variable, let's say 25. I want to convert it into a string. All right, so what I will do, str brackets, and what do I want to convert? The variable that we just mentioned earlier, and let's uh, print both. Uh, types of both the variables here. First was default integer, and then we converted it into a string, and hence our variable f is string data type. And you can uh, write uh -huh. I hope you have been following so far. If you have questions, please uh, leave a comment after you have seen the video and I will try and follow through uh, to the best of my knowledge. See, typecasting is a handy tool to ensure that your variables are in the right format for your program, especially when you're coding. Okay, now let's um, try and work a little bit on strings right we won't go uh, we won't get into uh, a lot of details over here but just you know um, just going through over it let's say uh, you have a particular string that you want uh, to type uh, several times what would you do would you use the print command over and over again like you wanted to print a particular word uh, you're working on a data set uh, and there are some uh, parts which are empty and you want to cover it uh, with a particular string, with a particular word or, uh, or a symbol 
in order to work on that data so it's not you know empty it's not void um, would you go and type a uh, print uh, function over and over again or would you take a shortcut the shortcut of it will be for example let's say i have a hashtag which i want uh, to be typed several times uh, let's say 20 which i want to be printed 20 times so what i'm going uh, what am i going to do i'm going to use the print function it's a string so i will put hashtag in it all right and then i will multiply it by 20. what will happen is uh, you can't really mathematically you can't really multiply a hashtag symbol 20 times so let's see what the output is This is the output. Now, what if I wanted a little bit of space in between the hashtag? So what I'm going to do, hashtag in quotes. Notice, hashtag space inside the quotes. Multiplied by 20, let's print it. And this is what happens. All right. Um, what if it was integers? Well, uh, what if I wanted to figure out what was 5 multiplied by 5? We all know what it is, but let's have it printed. See, when it's not a string, it's a basic mathematical equation for Python. All right, but when you do, uh, when you are typing a code with strings, it's a little bit different. It takes the value and, you know, uh, prints it with the number of value number of times that you have mentioned over there. That's about it, okay? Let's move on to a different one. For example, I have a particular string statement available and I want to print uh, a part of it in a different line, like, you know, below it. For example, when you type emails and whatnot, you say, um, hello, sir, madam, or good morning, and then you start um, with the first line of the email below it in a new line. How do you do it? Let's say I wanted to print uh, hello, good morning, but hello uh, in the first line and good morning in the next one below it. Hello, good morning. That's what I want to type, right? But I want to type it in a new line. If you print this, this is how it will print. I do it again. Hello, good morning. But I want it in a different line. I want good morning below hello in a new line. For that, you will add hashtag n. Sorry, uh, backslash n. If you, I don't know if you remember, um, in my first video, I did mention, like, if you were working on a string and uh, you were working with single quote string and you have one more uh, single quote in between, um, you need to add a hash, uh, a backslash over there to tell Python that the this uh, single quote in between is not the end of the string but is a part of the string. So over here, we put backslash n where we want a new line. Let's see how it prints. This is how it will print. What if I wanted one more space, one more line between hello and good morning? It's print hello backslash n backslash n to backslash n and then I will continue with what I want. You see the difference? With no backslash n it's in the same line. One backslash n is new line like over here and then if you put two of them it also it, it's basically, if you put two, then it's basically two, uh, two new lines, nothing else. All right, let's uh, move on to the next one. See, uh, what we're going to learn next, it's a very little tiny thing, but it goes a long way. You'll be working on it all, you know, with it all the time in Python. It, uh, you know, uh, simplifies code. It, uh, it, it helps you with calculation and whatnot. Uh, but let's say, let's keep it simple for now. Uh, I want to calculate, I have a particular string and I want to calculate uh, what is the length of it, all right? Uh, what is the length of that particular string? For example, I have a new variable. I assign a string. My name is Himanshi. 
Oh, oh come on. How many mistakes? Oh, seriously? Okay, there we go. So this is my strength. Now, how would I calculate uh, that how long is it? So I will use this function, length, L-E-N brackets. And in brackets, I'll uh, type the variable that I have assigned earlier. And the variable of which I want to calculate the length of. Now, this function will not just uh, count uh, the letters that I have mentioned in this string. It will also count the space. It will also count this full stop over here. All right. It, uh, this word, the, any string can have uh, special characters, space, um, in numbers, letters. It doesn't matter what's in a string. It will count all of it to provide you with a length. Anything which is in between the opening and closing quotes will be counted. Let's say length over here. Okay, and I'll show you how. Um, see, this is the variable I chose. Okay, let's say I added an at the rate sign over here. All right, let's uh, calculate the length of this variable now. See the difference? It counts everything. It counts the space. It counts uh, special characters. It counts numbers. As long as it's in quotes, it will count every single thing in that string and provide you with a length. It is perfect for, found, uh, for finding the number of characters in a string, including spaces, special characters, numbers, whatever you can put in a string. I hope you have been following me so far. So um, that's it for today's video. We've covered how to find data types uh, using the type function, uh, how to typecast or convert variables uh, with in float and string functions. And uh, we've, uh, you know, uh, we found out uh, how to calculate the length of a string, how to uh, print uh, in a new, a new line uh, with a string, how to uh, type a particular uh, string multiple times. Well, practice these examples and thoughts or questions in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more beginner-friendly Python tutorials on Python for Everyone. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.